come back guys so now we've, we've already established established a good base for the right settings at least for this particular character we can move on to the other thing so i can temporarily hide let's see how this affects the low poly version let's see how this affects the low poly version this also seems to work quite nicely maybe you probably even better self because the scope detail the low poly version allows a lower poly count to it so that will kind of soften out some of the edges of this um of our normal map not making it too intense unlike the high poly whereby it captures more of the more of the tertiary details in the poly count so my probably we might even need to we would even need to reuse this if I if I prefer to but this one kind of sucks in most of this most of the details out especially for around the lips which is actually quite quite nice and usable so but carrying on let's go to yes fingers yes fingers we need to have something for the fingers so let's have something for the fingers though I'll see I'm supposed to make some corrections to the fingers but Okay, this seems to be just fine. So let's look kind of fine. Okay, the fingers in here. So let's import the normal map for this. Let's import the normal map for this. The texture seems to be working quite nicely around this, which is fine. That is more or less precisely what we want. So back in here, we had this in this same texture pack. So I would think I would just uh the fingers okay, yes this is the normal map for the fingers open gl so I plug this in that should be in there now so we have that in there now with the details then the albedo map the fingers, this would be the albedo map for the fingers there also then the roughness map let's turn this one, I think for the for this we had this roughness turned on also so back to the fingers back to the fingers, we can also invert this then drop in the roughness map in there. I don't know if I should have this feels a bit off though. This feels slightly off. Maybe the roughness probably not. I don't think it's necessary we have you know that at least is feels it actually feels just about right though maybe I should just <coughs> darken up this albedo a bit more no definitely <coughs> definitely not definitely not maybe let's try pushing this towards towards a tint here yeah, this will definitely work so towards this your more, more of a yellowish tint to it should be just fine here yeah. something even more or less like this should be just fine let's just get this around here yeah, yes this will work just fine but this this kind of blends in with the skin a bit nicely let me just let's lighten it up a bit more something more or less like so it should be fine yeah, this will work just fine yeah this this feels just about right for this. You can see how it blends right quite nicely with the rest of the and which is precisely what we want. So that's fine. There's nothing else. I don't know if we should have. I don't know if we should have some kind of sub surface scattering to it also because light also passes through it. So let's see if we can have something in there. So I'm basically I'm basically going to experiment in here to try and figure out which particular one should work. Which particular one should work best for it. So under this transmission, let's see. Let's try this thin surface. Let's see what that does.
that seems to key translucent for translucent map let's just plug in the same uh, I'm not really liking the result of this no, I'm not liking the result of this so I'm going to use <coughs> let's try this volumetric instead yeah this is definitely much better this is definitely much better this will definitely work this will definitely work so let's try let's try let's try to go back in here on the albedo let's put this all the way to white first let's see let's see what that gives us if it's completely white nah definitely not maybe it seems like so yes yeah, this will definitely work so let's kind of get a closer view on this Okay. No, console. I'm supposed to be working in the color channel instead. Let's brighten this up. The darker value should take it all the way down. Okay. Maybe let me put it here. Put it here. One thing I like to do is that since even though this has some kind of soft surface scattering to it, with light passing through it, it's not the color. The color is not a fleshy tone. The color is more or less like a more of a brighter tone to this. So let me just push this towards towards a much brighter volume. I think this should be fine. Yeah, this should work just fine. Okay, that's fine. Maybe, <coughs> maybe the next thing we need to do now is to work on the eyes to so we can kind of give some more life to this character. So let's work on the eyes. Let's turn on the eye inner. Turn on the inner eyes. So let's plug in something in here. Okay, so I would let's start with the normal map for the eye. Did I have? I think yes, same yes, it's in the same folder. So the normal map should be eyes in a normal. So if you get a closer look on this now, we should have the normal map affecting this now. Can obviously you see the normal map in there now? So let's plug in the albedo map. Zabido map for this we don't need it to have the roughness. I think yeah, we should have a roughness map for this. We should have a roughness map. So let's use the roughness for this. Mm. Let's see. Maybe we can just invert this. Probably something around here should be fine. Then the outer, yes, you need to have, this definitely needs to have some soft surface, soft, soft, <coughs> soft surface cutting to it. So let's drop in the same volumetric, volumetric scatter to this. Probably use the same albedo map for this. If we crank this up to a value of two, okay. So now the outer part of this, apart outer part of the eye should just be just a more regular glass material to it. So let's turn it on. Outer eyes. Hopefully, I can remember to create glass material in here. So it should be more reflective. Let's just start with the darker tone. 
kind of see how reflective this is. Yes, completely reflective, which is precisely what we want. Then let's see. <coughs> let's see. We have the transparency. What one should we use? No, what one is definitely is going to work. Cut out. Probably not. Can't seem to find that. Let's do this. Let's do a trick for this. Let's just increase the metaness, metaness for this. Then the trans under the transparency. We're not supposed to be not using a video for this. Definitely not using a video for this. Uh, the eyes is not looking great. The eyes are definitely not looking great. Okay, yes, I think this data should be the better one to use. Use our video. We don't, we don't have any video to this. Okay, so let's modify this a bit more. Let's kind of find. Kind of find a good balance for this. This is not looking. This is definitely not looking great though. <clears throat> Let's see if we can make this work. Without the metalness in there, it feels, feels rather odd. Let me just turn the roughness. Okay. There isn't so much to do in here. Yeah, it just doesn't feel or sits feel right to me. Feels rather odd. Doesn't feel realistic enough. Definitely doesn't feel realistic enough. Okay, so putting the roughness all the way up, maybe from a distance feels fine, but I don't know. This still feels rather odd. Still feels rather odd. Can't really seem to have the light bouncing in. The, the, the main problem is coming from the glass actually because you can't really see the light bouncing into this. Glass shell we have for the outer eye. Just gonna kind of have some kind of what's it called again? Some kind of caustic having uh, happening inside this glass material. But I don't know. There is a way to kind of fix this and kind of make this look like some kind of caustic bouncing off this eye emission. Is there anything in here? Let's see if we can fix something in here. No, so sure. Let's not have the lights. I think let's try to have them turn off or turn off the skylights. So I'm not going to introduce a new light again in here. Maybe we we'll push, push it, push it out this way. Uh, 
let's see uh, it's not really bouncing light off this glass material it's not bouncing light off this glass material onto the texture at the back of this just kind of taking away the beauty of having a more realistic eye to this except if Except if we fit, can we fit this? Is able to fit this? Except if we kind of fit this. Yes, let's see if we can. Let's see if we can fit this. Maybe in the render settings, maybe there's something here we can do. Transmission. Allow caustic parts. But the caustics doesn't seem to be doing much on this at all so let me try turning off let me see if there's a way to let me turn off this body for now let me just kind of work specifically on the eye so what I'm going to do is to for this sky lights uh, let's see Mm. So I'm going to put this light into this sky one folder and I'll turn it on. Then for, for this sky one light, I'm going to take it all the way down. I only want to visualize just these lights I created. Then I can hold shift and then rotate this light. I don't know if you can rotate this light. You can see now, if I rotate this light this way, we're not getting, you can see the details of the eye in there definitely, but we're not getting that bounce light. There's no bounce light in there, and it's that bounce light that, that kind of creates an illusion of a realistic eye. The subsurface is kind of affecting it, no doubt, but that bounce light, you can see there, there are no bounce light at the, at the rim, which is kind of like a big problem for us. I don't think there's a way to fit this. There's a way to fit this in here. Red. There's nothing. Blue. Let me put this at white. Uh, doesn't seem to be doing much. There's nothing on doing anything. Put this back to black. You need to have some kind of bounce light in here. Let's see if we can crank up. Let's see if we crank up the. Let's see if we crank up the. Uh, let's see. Maybe we can crank up this cut out. Let's see. Some, okay, refra okay, refraction. Refraction. Let's add this refraction for the glass. Let's see if that would kind of make it a bit better. Refraction. Okay. Let's see if this actually adds something to this tweet. Refraction index index. Okay. Option it doesn't seem to be. I'm going to use a build because there's no build for this. Let's uh, see if it's working. Let's try this as full white. Just from an angle like this, we're going to see some kind of bounce light in here. Uh, it doesn't seem to be working either. Probably doing something wrong. Nothing. 
Okay. Mm, I can't seem to get this to work. Let's see, let's see maybe if we we are in that maybe let's crank this up. Let's crank this up. Is it setting for you? Let's set in here we can adjust this bounce. Let's try let's let me do a quick save first. Let's try to have this bounce at the value of 10. The value of 10, I still don't can't really seem to have anything working correctly in here. If this doesn't work, then I will just have to kind of fix this. I might just have to fix this. And no, nothing seems to be working. I think our only solution now is just to fix this in the Albedo map. That's like the only thing we can do in here. Maybe let me crank this up to around a value of 15. Nah, it's not really affecting. It's not really affecting this room here. It's not really affecting this room here. So let me just take this back. So I need to go back to Photoshop, then fix, kind of fix this in a way. So I would to do that. I would just go back to the eye texture. Go back to the eye texture. I'm just gonna add like a rim light around it manually. Uh, so XP then. Let's see, uh, yes, yeah, there's, there's also another thing we can also try. So let me just drag this in here. Let's see if that actually works or does anything for us. Kind of using the parallax parallax mapping or parallax option instead of my set to back. But to do that, first I need to kind of draw rather stamp. Let me use the brush tool. So with the brush to selected, probably increase the brush size a bit more like so. Something like this should be fine. And I'll just let me take this down a bit more. I'll just add this black marks in here. No, I'm supposed to do this at it in a different layer. So let's just create a new layer for this. Now just stamp this on here. Like so. Now create a new, new, a new layer also. Uh, and I'm going to put this at full white. And I would like to blow this out. So let me just add a smart mark to this first. So I can preserve the integrity of this layer, and I can use a blow Gaussian blow for this. Uh, let's try. Let's try value of this, then kind of shrink it in a bit more, like so. Then let's just do a quick save for this. Let's save this out. I'll save this out as let's save it out as JPEG. Uh, let's see. Let's start with JPEG.
Let me just name these two dots. Okay. So let's try this option. Let's see if this will actually work. So back in here. So this is where should we even be applying this? Let's apply this to the inner eyes first. Let's start with the inner eyes. So I would under this normal, let's just put this to parallax. Parallax, whichever one you prefer to call it. Okay, then for the height map, I'm just going to plug in this material we just created in there. Let's see if that actually does anything. Just something is actually can't seem to do see much of what is doing though. Still not giving me the precise effect I need. Change the light a bit more. Let's see. Still not giving me the effect I need. Do kind of adding something interesting in there, though, but not nearly what I want. Not nearly what I want. Let's let's just let's just fix this. So I come in here and I'll use add the black marks to this. Rather convert this to a smart object. Then I'll duplicate this. Let's try this brightness and contrast. Brighten this up even more. Okay. Let's see the other tools to kind of brighten this up even more. Let me clip this first to this. Then let's see if we can add the levels. No, curves? Don't know. Okay. Seems nice. Maybe something around here. Then I'm going to put this in a group. Can I add the black marks to this? Add marks, yes, fill with black. Then I can paint in where I want this to be reviewed. So I basically just want this to be reviewed at the edges. So I want to use a paint brush. A soft brush to be precise. Okay, so let me just paint yes something around like something like so. This is precisely what we want. So I'm going to paint in <coughs> around the corners of this like this. So, something around here should be fine, I believe. But even though it's not, we can always we can always adjust this can always adjust this and then make it better so let's do a quick save let's do a quick save let's use jpeg let me just name this to v1 start just naming this to v1 
then we'll just import this into the color map or a build map. Okay. So you can see how we've kind of faked fake the illusion of having this kind of looking a bit brighter on the edges. But probably need to do this a bit more on the edge. You can probably it needs to extend downwards even more. So I go to the brush. Need to brighten this up even more. More or less like erasing this these dark parts. I think I went overboard on this on this. So let's just go more around here. Invert the marks and bring this back. Let's just light in. Let's bring some of this back. Maybe, maybe even take down the brush size. And take down the flow and <coughs> plan opacity. Then I've raised this out a bit more. Something more or less like so. Then we'll do another save. Then we'll do another save. Let's just save this on top. So we're just trying to cheat our way to kind of have something a bit more believable. So back in here, you should update. <coughs> Okay, so now let's bring everything back in. I'll turn, bring this back in. Turn off these lights. Then open this up and bring in our main character. Okay, so now I have something that kind of fix, kind of fix this light not bouncing off the material itself. Or bouncing of the map itself. So, but this feels, this feels slightly, not slightly though, very harsh. So, I'm going to go back to Photoshop and then this particular layer we can more or less like reduce the intensity of it. Do another save on top of it. Be on JPEG. Replace, yes. Okay. Now we have something. Yes, this work. This should work just fine. This should work just fine. It's kind of fake. Fake the illusion of that. Yeah, this will work just fine. From a distance now, this should feel a bit more believable. Let me just get this light at the edge like so. The reflectivity for the eye, <coughs> for this eye, outer eye, for this glass material. Uh, let's see. I feel we can still I feel we can still or we should still modify this alpha a bit more. Hmm. 
Mm, I think the value we had on before was just about right. Maybe the meltanness can maybe we can adjust the meltanness a bit more. But I don't have I don't have very strong sharp highlights <coughs> coming from the light source. That just makes it feel too plastic like. So let like this feels a bit softer. Maybe somewhere around here. Let me take it down. Let me take it off completely. Yeah, uh, that feels not too good. Maybe just I think the value of this should be fine. Let me just move the light around a bit. Kind of find a good balance for this. Let's try a different light setup. Let's try this light setup. But I need to make sure the okay, yeah, this, this, this seems fine. Let's see with this single light around it. Let's just see. Now this helps a lot to kind of make that illusion of a realistic eye around this. I think this setting, this setting feels, this setting for the glass feels just about right for this. Yeah, yeah, I think this works just fine. Should work just fine. Let's turn off this light and let's introduce back this default light we had in here. Just to get another visual look with a different light setup around this. Okay, this eye light for the eyes feels just about right. Yeah, I think this this will work just fine. This will work just fine. So it will definitely work just fine. Let me turn this up. Let's go back to the original. Okay, yes, I think we can live with this. So, the next lesson we're going to carry on by next lesson we're going to carry on by texturing the other parts of the other parts of the assets. Let me just do a quick save for this now. Just leave this as it is at least for the most part. From a distance, this feels fine. Hopefully, you know one notices the technique we use to kind of cheat this except only those of us watching this particular video or those of you watching this particular video so bye for now I'll come back in the next lesson we're going to be texturing the other parts of the garment so let me just do a quick save and we'll carry on in the next lesson